No time to waste. We gotta get this guy Haven. And get some more plot dump upon us. To keep us from going into a black hole. Because black holes suck. Literally. Gravity wells, if you will. Our spaceship is on a course. After getting blasted somehow. Also, if you didn't see that earlier, flying battle cruiser. What the heck? Speaking of what the heck, here's some cyborgs. Welcome in me to Skyhaven. They must have been really bored. Seriously. And through the pseudo forest we go. It's not a huge place. But it requires a little walking. So it gives me a time for a little talking. You'll probably see this part around April-ish. To which I say to you, Happy April Fool's Day. Just kidding. I probably did a horrible joke. And I apologize for nothing. But once again, you see the stairs down there. You can guess that we're going to have to go through another dungeon soon. Don't worry, it's not too bad. Although it will prevent, present a new challenge. Also, I really should have equipped Kara with a slicer. Lazy me, I didn't. She can also use a needler gun. But the slicer is just so much better. In my personal and gameplay. And here comes some info from the wise ones. Oh dear, there's another dome called Terminus we have not been to. Even though it shows it on monitor. The words of ultimate power. To empower the weapons of legend. It'd be cool if we could have these legendary weapons, and it's actually necessary. Mews? And mews? Mews? Huh? Syringe shot. Le Le Leia's bow and moon slicer? Hey, we already have two of those! Unfortunately, they're not in their powered up state right now. Instead, we have to go to Sage Eye. In back in Draconia. Yeah. Back. Yeah. Near Shoe Sorin and Silly. And why do we need to go in the dungeon? For awkwardness. to be able to visit Sage Island in the first place. Cause no, we can't land there with our jet without an airport. Heaven forbid. And yes, we must find all five weapons. Well, at least we have two of them already. To get that word of power. I think they're holding out on us. Let's lead us, yes indeed. Oh my. And all the other cliche words to say. To another dungeon. It's a map. This time we're going from east to west. But, uh, it's another one of those dungeons where you could take a one path and go for several miles without realizing your true path. One of those paths leads to a nice item called the Star Mist. We will be skipping that. Even though it's extremely powerful. I think we'll be okay with D-Rex. So up north we go, 
to go across our first path. Oh dear. What these horrible looking things? Oh dear. A foy that did 43 damage from that globe. That quasar isn't nice either. Low hit points though. And a mantis. It will prey on you. With a nasty Zan. So yes, the enemies aren't fooling around. I am fooling around. I'm being lazy on my upgrades. For the long But going far enough west from here. Same fight. Still, 6,000 experience per fight. And it only gets higher. The Messiah, though, is not that good. Oh dear. Here comes some trolls and beasts. A new type of enemy. Unless we've met them before. Demonists with a strong physical attack. Troglets are no joke either. They also have pretty good hit points. One more round, guys. One more round. Yes, Trogger is 230 hit points, Demon is 270. But the Demon is... will have the highest XP we have ever seen, by far. We're talking over 5,000 each. But they're also dangerous. Oh, and I'm not dangerous? Nope. Oh dear. More pallet swap from a spear. Beers. Are they robots? Or are they strange entities? Of questionable coming from. They are robots. How do I know this? My information from Hughes Johnson. PS3.hughesjohnson.com has robots and monsters separately on different pages, so I have to switch back and forth from my source to source. You don't expect me to memorize the stats of a, over 170 monsters now, did you? I hope not. Although I wouldn't be surprised. I owe them orbs, globes, and spears. Around 200 hit points. Great defense, but that nasty, nasty, nasty Nasty pink uh, hair. Also, slimes are getting nasty with Floyd. Okay, not super nasty, but annoying nonetheless. So, everything... Every fight can be basically two-rounded. Stickles, twigs, and mantises. Those... Things with the strange torsos and sticks for appendages. Also, I went the wrong way, if you noticed. 200 hit points, tons of experience, and boy do I feel dumb. Feeling dumb is not feeling smart. And realize this dungeon, if you can call it a dungeon, is a almost literal death trap. Slimes, why did it have to be slimes? Uh, let's see, let me get me on the correct path this time, and maybe I can make some progress. Because some of these paths can lead you towards horrible, worthless treasures. Which will be right here. We'll lead us towards three treasures, including what we need. Those ship parts. The aqua parts. Why I can't use a submarine on the water, I have no clue. Game logic. Yeah. And yes, I realize I'm using Gears for someone I'd said I wouldn't use Gears for. It balances out. 
next up when I do this. And I want to go back one. And down. Uh, I did so much better on my first playthrough in this dungeon. Probably because I had more experience. Probably because I had a totally different party that worked a lot better. What am I complaining about? Four healers. And they all hit decently. It's their hit points that's the problem. Everybody except Ren and Adon are kind of low. Also, speaking of kind of low, Gwyn is dead. Shame on me. One transfusion later. Ah, uh, back to the hospital. Back to the paper, rock, scissors, bomb. Did I just say paper, rock, scissors, bomb? Maybe. Up a little bit. Actually, it's probably up a bit more. Yes, from this point on, I want to go north. Quite a bit, actually. All the way up north? All the way up north, yeah. Till I get stopped by broken glass. Broken glass, my worst enemy. Actually, ice is my worst enemy, but that's not the point. Actually, I think bees are my worst enemy. Actually, I think talking too much and skipping treasure chests is my worst enemy. Car is level 36 and almost dead again. That's a horrible sentence to start out with. And in here is a very nice item. The Royal Crown. For Royal Royal being probably the second or third best armor in the game. Armor class, I should say. Not a huge increase. But saves us a ton of money. And I just don't mean on renter's insurance. What am I saying renter's insurance for? Aqua parts. A aqua parts. And as a bonus, what? A useless hunting bow. Why they give us such a pathetic item, I don't know. We're discarding that immediately. Also, some other items appear. Moondu, which revives one person. And a Laconian Ribbon. The Laconian Ribbon is tempting. Especially since I don't, uh... Have an escape by Brynn. That's my fault. Because I'm just dragging Ren along on this horrible, horrible escapade. A failure. And third-rate gameplay. 